So for this assignment, I want you to be able to take an image and do some really basic editing on it and then save that image. And that way, if you have a screenshot and you want to black something out or blur something out, I want you to have those capabilities. So as you upload files to me throughout the semester, if you don't want me to see something about a screenshot you've taken, you know how to black it out. And so we need some image manipulation software to do this. And you could use something like Windows Paint in Windows. So you could just search for Paint in Windows and Windows has some basic editing software. Or you could do it in, you know, if you're confused about how to use Windows Paint, you could go to YouTube and, uh, and just search Windows Paint. And let's see what comes up. Windows Paint. And how to use, right? How to use Paint for Windows, 17 minutes. So that'll probably get you going. Watch something like that. Or you could use something like GIMP, uh, which is, uh, going to be a little bit more powerful or you could use Photoshop and you could get like a Photoshop free trial for a month or something. I'm going to use Photoshop. So I'm going to start Photoshop in my Mac and this is Spotlight Search on the Mac. This is a lot like in Windows. You have, you know, your little search area down at the bottom that I just showed you in the last video. But here you could do Spotlight Search. You could get there by clicking this on a Mac or you could just hit Command Space Bar and it brings it up. And then you search for whatever you want. I want Adobe Photoshop, so I'm going to open that up. So that's opening now. So now that I have this open, I'm going to open the file that I wanted. So I could go up here and I could do like file open. And I don't need this welcome screen. Or I could just go straight to my file explorer and I could right click the file. This is the power of right clicking and choose open with and I could choose Adobe Photoshop or I could choose other to see more options. I'm going to go with Adobe Photoshop. So this just opened up in Adobe Photoshop. Now I need to create some sort of a square with color. If I look over here I have all my tools. If you don't see your tools you can go up here and you can just search for all the different tools here. right? So I think this is, this is my tools panel. So if I turn that off that disappeared and I come back here and I go back there and I turn it back on. There it is. So I just need to find the tool now for creating a square. And so here's a custom shape. There's a rectangle. There's an ellipse. I'm going to go with a rectangle and change the color of it. I guess red is fine. I'll leave it red. And you can see I have some options up here. So what's the fill? Like as you select a tool, you get different options up top. What's the fill? I want the fill to be red. And if I wanted the border to be something else, I might... Well, I can make the border red and I can make the fill like gray, there we go. And uh, and here's the stroke width, I guess that's the width of the border, 25 points. And uh, different options here, but now I'm just gonna black some stuff out. So let's say I wanted to black out just this stuff right there, right? So that's now been blacked out, so to speak. I can't see it anymore. Now I just go up and I choose File, and there's Save As or Save for Web. So in Photoshop, you do Save for Web. Save As, it just gives you Photoshop files, or a BMP, or I guess you could do a JPEG right there. But Save for Web will optimize the file. I'm going to hit Save for Web. And I could choose PNG, so that's one type of file format. Portable Network Graphic, I think, is what it stands for. Or I could do JPEG and do just like a low resolution since I'm just uploading this. And it shows me here, I could choose like JPEG, that's 80 kilobytes, right? If I went with a PNG, and I could select these different ones and I could try, this is 676 kilobytes. What about a PNG, like a small PNG, uh, PNG 8 is 194. So that JPEG low is really pretty, 80.72 kilobytes. JPEG medium is 115. I'm going to choose this one, which is 80.72. 80 and uh, the original is 9.6 megabytes, so we've got a good compression there. So now I'm going to hit save and ask me where I want to save it. And I can just do like, you know, uh, blacked out and save it. And so now I could close Photoshop. And in, up here I could do Photoshop, quit Photoshop, or command Q. So you often have shortcuts here when you look at these file menus. And this is an insight for people until they learn it, that you could do things with the drop-down menus. Or you could look over and you see what's the shortcut key. Command Q on a Mac is the shortcut key. So I'm just going to press Command Q and don't save. I'm out of Photoshop. So here's my blacked out image. 
You can see a black something out there. And how to submit this assignment, you've seen this before, so if you don't want to see how to submit an assignment, you can stop watching. But I'm going to go into student view, because I'm in instructor view, but to see how it is in yours. And then go in here, and I really like seeing these by type. Date doesn't make sense, because we don't do that in this class. And now photo editing, click photo editing and submit assignment, which is kind of weird, you click that before, and then just choose your image, open, and hit submit. 